Remember the time when carpenters had to hand file and sharpen their saw blades and saw teeth? Not anymore. The reason for it is that these new hand saws, if you look carefully on the teeth, you can see that they are blue. Sorry about the glare. Bluish, discolored. On this one here, the upper one, the whole sawtooth is discolored. Here, only the teeth, the, top, the tops of the teeth are discolored. This is called case hardening on the teeth. And its depth is about as uh, deep as paint, about 20 microns. In other words, very thin. Once that thin layer wears away, the original hardness that's put in place by this case hardening is gone and then you are back to filing it. But the teeth are so small, you cannot fit a file in between these teeth. So basically this is a throwaway item. The idea with case hardening is to make the teeth harder and longer lasting. This is basically a form of quenching. Quenching means heating the steel to red hot temperature and then plunging it into cold water. Now you cannot do that with the whole saw blade and the reason for it is because it has to flex and bend. So if you harden the whole thing it's not gonna work. It's not gonna stay flexible. Case hardening on the teeth there we go, case hardening on the teeth is done by applying a little bit of uh, current there we go, almost there applying a little bit of current to the teeth and uh, and then uh, say uh, not, one, not, not one tooth at a time but just a few of them at a time and then just let it air cool and as it does so the uh, air cooled metal or air quenched metal in this case is hardening to a depth of about 20 microns like I said so don't try to sharpen these uh, you're not gonna be uh, happy with it the files don't fit and uh, and uh, what you have underneath the hardened layer is just uh, low carbon steel